looking at your numbers, um, I'm drawn to the net interest income line. And I wonder if you can tell me what your expectations are there. What is your outlook for net interest income, given we still have a low rates environment in the Eurozone? Uh, well, we had uh, an event which was rather important for us uh, yesterday. The Czech uh, National Bank uh, increased the uh, the rate by 20 basis points. Uh, that's good for us because we're incredibly deposit rich in the uh, Czech Republic. That will be a positive for our NII. But still, you know, although we have a very strong um, loan and deposit growth, uh, our, our loans grew by over 6% in the first half year um, on an annual basis and, and the deposits by 11%, low rates. Uh, do hurt us because we still have a very large government securities portfolio um, that's running off. Uh, but it, it's getting it's getting better. So um, if if rates stay the same, or even if uh, the euro will go up by a few basis points at one point in time, uh, I think we we see a strong chance that NII I can actually uh, go back into a growth pattern. OK, so it can, can go back into a growth pattern. A little bit more on the Czech story, if you would, for me, Andreas, because uh, seeing the central bank increasing <coughs> rates for the first time in, what, a decade, I think, uh, yesterday, they're concerned about a bubble in the uh, housing market in the Czech Republic. Are you? Uh, no, we're, we're not really uh, worried about that. But, but what, what is, of course, um, um, I think a logic consequence of uh, low interest rates um, in combination with the fact that we um, <clears throat> work in a region where you hardly have any kind of uh, capital market product. So people do not invest in shares, people do not invest in investment funds, because we have very, very little available um, in our region. So I think it's very logic that there is a flight into uh, real estate and therefore prices go up. I wouldn't call it um, a bubble. Uh, we've seen bubbles before, and they look different. Hmm? Um, I think it, it, it's blowing up a little bit, but it's not a bubble. Not a bubble. Uh, can I ask you about how you're doing generally in Central and Eastern Europe they, then, Andreas? Uh, previously, you'd mentioned how Brexit could be a good thing because people <laughs> might be uh, tempted to travel back to that part of Europe and how that might boost your business there. Are you seeing any evidence of that? What, how, how is that part of your business operating? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know yet whether, whether sort of the Czechs and the Poles are flooding back uh, into their home countries and whether they come from the UK or somewhere else. But uh, it's a fact that we have uh, strongly uh, improving unemployment rates. Um, in the Czech Republic, we have actually com full, full employment, if not overemployment. Um, uh, that has a positive effect um, on real wages. Uh, that has a positive effect um, on, on the sort of household income. Um, and that is, in my view, one of the main reasons why uh, we see uh, lending uh, growing substantially faster than in Western Europe. So it, uh, it is, there is, a, there, there is a, a definite turnaround in the labor markets uh, in our region. We find it very difficult to... Uh, uh, find employees for the moment. Uh, that's interesting, and there's something that the Czech uh, Central Bank referred to was the wage story in their economy, very different, of course, from, from uh, some bigger economies we talk about often. Andreas, can I ask you about Poland? Because it's not a place that you operate, but a number of assets are said to be up for sale in Poland. Are you, are you tempted to get into that market? Um, I, I Actually, we're betting um, on George. We have... Uh, developed um, what I believe, and actually others believe that too, uh, what is uh, the most attractive digital platform uh, in our region and one of the most attractive platforms in Europe. I have very, very little interest in buying uh, brick and mortar. Um, we, can, we can reach our clients uh, through digital channels. Um, uh, you know, banking is, is a lot about getting simpler. Uh, and buying another bank doesn't make you simpler. So that, that would have to be a really, really, really good occasion. How, how, much, how quickly do you think the ECB should unwind its QE program, Andreas, just briefly? Unwind its what? <laughs> the QE program. 
Oh, oh uh, uh, in my view, uh, they should, they could stop it immediately, but um, they will wind it down until um, um, I think the mid of next year. Uh, that's uh, what everybody assumes. Uh, um, I, I, I hope uh, they will move uh, faster and actually hope they will go for a rate increase sooner than later.